happening. Go in Tuning here. It's all about making small incremental changes to a car's setup, testing them out on track during practice and dialing it in. Some upgrade parts include more tuning options, giving you even more control over your car's performance. And you can um, car specific uh, wheel tuning as well for those that like to drift, etc. Force feedback. That's what we mess with all that crap for. I usually don't do that. Look at that Yeah, it, it seems like they're trying to go for a, a GT7 motif. They need some excitement in it. That's dull. Changing one driving assist at a time is the best way to understand. It's like they kind of went with a grid control. motif. Like an old grid, it was just a basic racing game. can't have the same information for traction and that's all right I'm gonna see if that really hampers my ability to play Honestly, like, I'm just cranking FOV because while you're running the required practice laps. Push that new build to the limit to hit that Push that new build to the limit. We only upgraded two things. All right, here we go. As you practice, here we you not pass go. through select track segments that are key to fast lap times. Your time is tracked through key segments, and when you improve your time, you'll receive you a car progression time. bonus. I'm just reading it from a script. I have no excitement in my voice. I am just reading like a robot, like I'm AI. Whoa, 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 okay. Yeah, that does that does change things quite a bit. Okay. I can see why people are like, I'm not fast enough, I'm not turning fast enough. Because all the assists are on and it slows you down because it does corrective braking even in sport mode. Which, I'll need that, because I'll spin this car out like stupid, but... Especially the faster cars, I'll spin this some bitch out. <laughs> Especially on a wheel. Alright, this is going to be a little slower, because uh, the non-assists are on, other than ABS. Yes. That we can use to gauge your overall lap performance. Yes. Experiment with where to get on the brakes, when to accelerate, and find your perfect racing line to shave precious seconds off your lap time. It's like they're trying to train people how to drive racing games again. It's like we know most people that race games know all this crap already, but I get it that trying to go for the basic crap. Basic bitch crap. Leveling up way too fast. Of course, this is the practice. All right, my brakes screwed up there. 
I screwed up my braking. Alright, so we have the ability to go off the track without it freaking out. At least in club rules. Expert is like bitches when you're barely even out. It gives you penalties. Crunch. We're down behind Casanova. Okay. Whatever. And we break about right there. I mean, at least they they do teach you, sort of, which is nice. But I just play these racing games for fun, trying to get my wheel out and trying to have fun with that. Trying to get my settings right for most games, just so I can play it. Three laps are done. Great work and practice. Time to race. Dual tires. Can we do this now? Does this really matter anymore? Is it like not update? It's not updating. Is it? I guess it doesn't matter because we're not playing on iron, maybe? Because you don't have to mess with the you don't have to mess with the fuel. Because I'm in the club club settings. When you go to expert, you have to do all of that. You gotta check your tires, gotta change your tires depending on your race. This will probably just automatically adjust. No excitement. Just there's the race. I don't know if people are going to like that. At least try to get the top, the original top gear people to come in and just voice stuff, you know? Just try, try. It's like they just, we, we focused on, on our track and physics and, 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 but you don't have any weather really other than rain. You just, you don't have wind in your trees, even on a calm day. You have no excitement in your in your pre-race stuff. You have people reading the the script for the the voice acting and just monotone. Trying to be like GT7, but just being prestigious. That's the terminology. That's correct. My terminology is weird sometimes. All right, we're fifth. A lot of curves, a lot of braking, so I don't know if I'll do so well. They level you up way too fast. Mike. Microphone. 
Turn slightly microphone. Turn slightly. Sorry for the noise. Alright. Alright, we break about here. Yeah. Also, um, in the game, the AI opponents actually eat, drive better and also can screw up. I've never seen that Nissan ever in my life. Penalty. It's like white lines. Uh, the grid games, it's like all four over the white lines. The two penalties. All right, we're third and we got one lap to go, so I think we're screwed. Yeah, I think three is a, a nice moderate difficulty because you can get it up to the front. But I don't know, I think maybe put, put blah, 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 blah. placing it on level two Last lap. Let's go. might be a good base start for most people. Hell, even one probably if you really suck at racing. Mustang, yeah. You can see, like, their pro the AI is like having difficulties with steering, which is interesting. And I know damn well for sure Mustangs can go well faster than that. Second. Fortunately, laps almost over. Well done. We finished P2. Honestly, I think I'm gonna keep, keep it Only at this one more level. event left to go in the series. Let's get going. Can we come back to it when we exit. I'm just seeing like where would you change your difficulty? And I like how they have things unlock and there's time based ones as well. What's new? Multiplayer. Okay, so they still have gifts, like they cash notes. Okay, cool. Uh, Welcome center, main menu. Nice. Okay. You change your driver. Body. 
Jackson. So they'll probably allow you eventually to pull your characters if you wanted to. Media? Book gallery? Okay. Just checking the menus because I didn't see the menus. All right. Let's go back to the career. Uh, so we're doing the introduction one. Okay. Ah, oh, there's the difficulty setting. Here is where you create your best possible racing experience by adjusting the difficulty and rule set. Can we change that or turn that off so we don't evolved, have to hear it every damn time? Try raising the difficulty to earn even more credits to buy other cars. Alright, so we're, we're coming in about second on three. So let's put it to two. We'll stay on club rules and we see if we'll if we're gonna be obliterating the competition if we are we'll put it back to three see there's with racing games most racing games with forza horizon forza sometimes grid um pretty much a lot of racing games when you change the difficulty of one it's too hard you go back down it's too, it's too easy there's no in between so. 400 CP. available so I can't pick that I can pick that uh, fuel and air air filter it's so expensive Changes a lot. Oil and cooling. Performance and handling brakes. Partials. Alright, fuel and air. Air filter. No, it was exhaust. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Can we do an air filter? Cooling, maybe? Can't get that. Alright, so let's oil and cooling. Oh, was a check. Let's head to Kyalami. Hmm. Had to pop my shoulder there. PS5 Slim for holiday? Really? Not necessary. Which means PS5 Pro's coming. Wow. Well, they don't, like, it doesn't even pop up the fucking Xbox achievements anymore. Like, you think with the Xbox app it would just ping, ping like it used to, but nope. Start practice, let's practice. Let me skip the videos. Dude walks, my character walks around like he's a bodybuilder where he only works from waist up. So he walks around like that and then he has chicken legs. Ooh, it definitely f sounds a lot stronger. 
And the exhaust is a little little bass here. Break, 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 break. That's good shit. Can't help it. Penalty. Should have been. Inherited? What the fuck does that mean? Short track, isn't it? Level six. Oh yeah, get that curved swirliness going there. Why are you breaking for this corner? Literally was a soft corner. This is the one you gotta break at. Same with this one. You don't need to break there either. Right here you need to break. This one you need to break because it's a big, sharp ass turn. Maybe not that slow, but I'm going that slow. Gotta get there quick. I gotta get that. I gotta beat it. I gotta beat it. Hurry up. I got it, but it's gonna be close ish. Yeah, for this cur this turn here, you don't need to break. I'm screwing up, I'm screwing up. All right, rewind. <laughs> Rewind on the practice. There you go. Yeah, rewind on the practice. That's not so bad. Radius.
least they have birds. But the trees need to be swaying and stuff if there's breezes. Do not break on this turn. Take. Of course, I did break just there on this turn, too. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's there. In, in the cockpit, it's there. The wheel's one-to-one -one almost with the joystick. Seven miles an hour. I have no problems with it. The game is nice. It runs. I prefer for a higher frame rate, but you know. Fast laps and practice felt good. Let's get to the race. Ow! Don't hit the microphone! I'm gonna shake up my energy drink. Before each race, you can adjust your starting position. If you cross the finish line in first, second, or third position, you will receive a podium bonus. The size of the podium bonus depends on your starting position and difficulty settings. The more you challenge yourself, the bigger the podium bonus could be. Cool. So if you go way down here and be last. So it's telling me if you put it here, you'd be show up the first or third. You put it in 12. We'll put it at halfway. See how that goes. Or maybe the, the gas thing doesn't work in the introduction. Let's see. I think because of the club rules, you don't have to worry about that. Ooh, look at the sky. Okay, there's some wind in the flags. Okay. I don't know about trees, but the sky is nice. The sky box is lovely. <laughs> oh. Do you brake check, brake, brake, brake check-ins? I just overtook three cars just then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, energy's kicking in finally. You don't have to break at this turn, guys. You don't have to break at this turn. Unless you're going super fast, like I just did. You don't have to break. You don't have to break, and then it screws up. Okay, it didn't do that through the um, practice. Hey, we're down two levels. We'll get it back. I mean, we literally gain three places back again now. <laughs> I 
out of the way, Mustang. You're slow. We're still on lap one. Okay, so we gotta figure out how to get up. We gotta figure out how to get up. In position. Did I just overtake that one? Wow. We are playing on, what, two. So maybe it, it dumbed it down a lot. Take. Oh, you dick. You just fucked up your Cadillac there, son. Third place. Got one lap left after we cross this blue line up here. So we might get it. We might get up there. Dude, he braked early. The steering is retarded, though. Come on, don't be doing no blocking. Okay, being 12th on difficulty of two, at least to me, it is appropriate difficulty so far. I mean, I'm like right on the first place, which some people don't like to be like right up at, right up at the front automatically, which a lot of racing games do that too. Super easy, it's like, dude, I'm first within like not even half, well, half a lap. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! I just have a feeling that if you play on club rules, it just doesn't give you penalties. It's just for fun. It should be. Well, let's stretch that one a little bit. Pop out of the cockpit a little bit. So, two is a little easy then. 
now I'm acting like the difficulty um, set higher. First place car is way ahead. They can never figure out difficulty ever. In any racing game, it's like it's too hard, or it's too easy. Or just start implementing like half difficulties between them. Like I'm not too far ahead, but damn. Oof. Oh. Nice work out there. Swerve. Drop your frames. Continue. Into the game, there. Hmm. At first, Franzi. Like a big dog. Trophy. Woo! Not a bad way to start our collection. Give me that flywheel. Give me that clutch. Give me the spring dampeners. Give me the fuel. Give me the differential. Give me the trans mission. Careful now. Every Builder's Cup tour contains multiple series of car Ooh. groupings each a unique challenge to outbuild and outrace your competition. As you complete tours, you will unlock unique rewards. Check back regularly, as new tours with new rewards are released on a regular basis. Cool. All right, so we got the uh, 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS Forza Edition. We have the white racing suit. Isn't that what I'm wearing? Right, do I get my cars? I should go back in here. Go into my cars list. My cars. Here's where you keep the cars you own. Just these two? I know I have more cars than that. Maybe you have to get to a certain level. Drop step down. Transmission. Rental. Shit. Might be fourth. 